1,000 workers to the Mark Center in Alexandria, but one local congressman is threatening to stop that big move until a traffic control plan is in place. Sarah Simmons is following at the story this morning from Alexandria. And Sarah, we just saw just how bad traffic could be on just a normal Wednesday. It certainly is. It gets very chaotic in this area just at a normal time. So imagine another 6,000 some people that would be working at the government facility that is going up here. And it's uh, well underway. Of course, not expected to open up until September 2011. But in the meantime, as you mentioned, we have quite a traffic problem that we have to deal with. And Congressman Jim Moran has introduced some language into the defense authorization bill that uh, passed out uh, of committee last week. Uh, tell me a little bit about this proposal and how you hope this kind of holds us people's feet to the fire to do something. There are approximately 6,400 people who will be coming to this facility. My language says that they can't use more than 1,000 parking spaces. In other words, one-sixth of the personnel, because that's all that these roads can absorb. Any more than that, and um, it's going to meet an extra hour of commuting for everyone that lives south of uh, Seminary Road trying to commute into Washington in the morning on Route 395. It's 395 that will be get backed up most severely. Uh, so this uh, basically tells the Pentagon that they're going to have to keep people in their uh, the current office buildings where they reside, where they work, which are near metro stations, uh, instead of getting them into their automobiles and having to drive out here to Seminary Row where there's no metro station. If they come up with a transportation plan that's acceptable, and construct it so that it's in place, then the cap is released and all of them can move here. But the owner should be on the Pentagon to mitigate the transportation problems. What is the desired plan right now? I know there's been talk about a direct access ramp off of 395 to get onto, onto here. Do you think that's likely? I don't want to prescribe to them how they're going to do it. I think that's probably the best idea, uh, to take the traffic off 395 onto a specific access ramp, because it is 6,000 uh, people, so this is a major development, and bring them right onto the uh, the site directly, rather than going through the series of stoplights that currently exist at Seminary and Beauregard. That, of course, will have to take even a couple of years, uh, you know, even to construct that. You know, a lot of people have been wondering, too, you know, this facility has been going up for a while. We've known about it for a while. Why wasn't something done sooner? Did your office push before this to get something done uh, or the city of Alexandria? What has really been done to even try to prevent this bottleneck that is anticipated? Well, I've been trying to uh, stop this uh, BRAC move until transportation, adequate transportation measures were in place for the last four years. We've been frustrated. Uh, sometimes I get it passed by the House only to have the Senate take it out because the Senate, up at, le at least up until now, wasn't fully aware of the, uh, the impact on commuters in the Washington area. But I think they're beginning to realize it now that we're getting close to the deadline of, in next uh, uh, next year and uh, approximately uh, uh, late summer. That's when all these people will be moving, and they realize, well, gosh, this is the 11th hour. There's no transportation mitigation in place. So we've got to act now. Uh, I think we'll get this language through the House uh, floor this week, and then I trust the Senate will keep it in. And uh, you know, they'll do what they should have done in the first place: keep the people where they are until there's adequate transportation. Uh, in place to move them here if that's what they really insist on doing. Okay, Congressman Jim Moran, thanks so much for coming by and talking with us about this this morning. And again, as we mentioned, this is next.